This is Rodney Strong, 2006 Cabernet Sauvignon Alexander's Crown Vineyard. And that's located in the Alexander Valley, of course. And this is a wine with really great history. When they first produced it, its first vintage, 1974. Of course, historic vintage, California cabs. But this wine was the first single vineyard Cabernet from Sonoma. And uh, it's been a standout ever since. Of course, Alexander Valley, you know, has, is now, of course, known as a, as a just first-class Cabernet-producing region. Great wineries out of there, making wonderful, really bright, intense, fruity, and ageable cabs. Um, the Alexander's Crown has always been a very, um, less of a real uh, California fruit bomb and much more of a um, throwback to uh, something more old world. Um, guess it has something to do with the terroir. You're at a very high altitude. You've got um, older vines, you've got uh, gravelly soils, so you're getting nice low yields. You're getting a really slow maturation process because the altitude keeps the vineyards cool. You get a lot of nice cool breezes, a big change in temperature from nighttime to daytime. The grapes are developing slowly. They take on a lot of complex flavors. They age the wine in primarily in French oak for about 20 months, which also helps give it that sort of Bordeaux style. And um, the nose is all cassis. Wow, cassis, black currant, a little bit of a uh, little spice on there. Yeah, just a hint of um, something sort of spicy, toasty. And I'm getting a little cocoa when I come back. A little bit of, um, a little bit of licorice. Mm. Black cherry. Very nice. Let's taste. core of fruit to this wine. It's sort of black currant, black cherry. But on the palate, I start to get um, some more complex flavors. I'm getting a little bit of a, uh, some minty notes, some little herbal notes, some minerally notes, um, tobacco-y notes. The finish, I'm getting more of that. I'm getting sort of, yeah, a little sort of a tobacco thing coming along with that black cherry hanging on there. Um, pretty nicely, tightly wound. Um, even though there's a lot of good fruit on it, there's a, there's a real, the core is pretty solid on this. This is gonna age nicely, I think. It's, um, everything seems to be in place. Uh, the balance is really nice. You know, there's no, certainly, there's no sense of uh, overripeness at all to this wine really good balance in that in that regard lovely fruit let it open up a little bit more and uh, really enjoy this with some uh, prime rib I think enjoy <laughs>